Okay, so this is Wimpy's version of Ubuntu Mate, uh, the desktopify version. And uh, if I run NeoFetch, you can see I'm running stock clock at the moment, and uh, it's 20.04.1 LTS. I think there's a 20.10 that he did a video on. I need to have a look at that. But uh, for now, I just wanted to get uh, Netflix working on this. And uh, I had a comment a while back. It was from Andrarama, which is uh, basically the creator of uh, Phoenix OS and uh, he let me know that Munker has done a version uh, and this is it Docker Chromium Arm HF. Now if I go to Netflix, uh, click on me, uh, if I try to play something that's when it goes wrong. So if I try and play something, I usually do this. It comes up with an issue because it hasn't got Widevine support, which is uh, what you need to be able to play Netflix. So let's close that down and go to GitHub and just follow the, so to build the application, I have to clone it first. So let's copy all of this. We'll see, sometimes it works if you just copy all of it uh, and put it into terminal. So let's give that a try. So, yes. Okay, so that's bit's done. Let me just go to the top and see what it did do. Oh, it looked like it just did that first line. So let's go back to the GitHub uh, and try this one. Okay, so the next line, CD Docker Chromium Arm HF, copy that. And then sudo docker build, let's copy, oh, let's copy that. Okay, so now uh, you need to enable xhost, so let's try that. So now sudo docker volume create chromium home. Oh. Okay, and the next command. Okay, so it's quite quite a big download, uh, this one. And uh, at the end of this, we should be able to use Disney+, Plus, uh, Spotify, Netflix, and various other things that have Widevine uh, encryption. So you still have to sign into the service and subscribe to the service, but at least it makes it uh, usable on a 64-bit Ubuntu OS. And as this works in Ubuntu Mate, then it should work in all the rest of the versions as well. And also uh, it was mentioned about Manjaro in here as well. So there's all sorts of things that this is compatible with. Okay, so that's finished. Next step. And the next step. Here we are, so here's Chromium. So let's do a search for Netflix. And log in. And we're in. So let's click on me. Let's go full screen. And let's try that Michael Jordan program again. I haven't needed to reboot or anything, so I've just, just gone through the steps on the GitHub and everything seems to be working so far, although it does work in, at, to this point, it's just getting past this and playing the video is where the others would fall down. And it's playing. Now I haven't overclocked or done anything else to this, uh, and let's just skip forward a bit so we've got a bit of movement. So I have to stop that because obviously I don't want to play 
uh, what it is, but it is playing. It's playing fine. Uh, the mo movement is all right. I would say I need to put the overclock on really to to get better bit video performance. But the fact that it's playing is is a really big thing. So if I close that down now, let's have a look and see what happens. So have I got a Chromium uh, shortcut? So if I go down to Internet. Yes, yeah, so there's no Chromium there, look. So if I want Chromium, uh, I can go into Mate Terminal and do that last command, sudo Chromium arm HF and Raspberry. And it launches. Excellent. So thanks very much to everybody involved. So thanks very much to Munker uh, for porting this over. Thanks to uh, Henning Thiemann for creating it in the first place. And also thanks to Andrew Rama for letting me know uh, about it in the comments. I've been meaning to do this. I've had this for about a week now. I've been meaning to do it, but I've had so many things coming through. But uh, this is great news. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.